reason why God gave men the responsibility to love is because it is not in men to be emotional. So God commanded men to love against our nature. It is not a man's nature to love. This one is my friend. This one is my friend. He's a very good friend. So five weeks in Tininka. Five months in Tininka. But he's a brother. Pa. <laughs> we are not emotional. And even if I don't hear from him, I and actually, at that mess, you know, you five months, you know. You really are, we move on. The next time will be one year later. Oh, Charlie, that G, his brother. I miss you. Why have I not heard from you? No, no, man, that is why God commanded the man to love. It's a command. Whether we like it or not, even if we don't feel like it, we have to be under God's command. Because he knows if he leaves a man, a man can love you. That's why if you leave a man eh, before sex, romance is nothing. I do. But the woman, the romance is where she feels the love, the compassion, the... But it's not in the man to and no man no members of the crowd. I don't know, it's the only in the men and in the men. It's only few men that that embellish things. Men are straightforward. A man can really love you, but you will never know. That's why most at times when breakup happens, it's sometimes genuine relationships. From the beginning, it affects the woman, but later it affects the man. Because it is later the man realized that, ah, come on, I had feelings I didn't know. When you know about it, yes. <laughs> When two people who are genuinely in a relationship breaks up, the first three months is the woman that cries because they are emotional. And the man will be doing that, hey, I'm a child, child, I'm going. And, yeah, sorry, I will test it, test it, sir. But after three, four months, now I shall see a camera. I shall see a camera, I shall see a test, hi. <laughs> what I said to say hi, but because women are emotional, first three, four months were so sad, so she cries all her pain away. I feel no, no, tears. What's what I said to her? No, maybe was status. I feel after four months, I brown, so she had. After four months, five months, six months, I thought the picture but two a brush. I say, hey. That's a man for you. We can sometimes let go someone we love. We don't know we love the person. Many men lost people they really loved. But it took about one year, two years later, they realized they are the ones they love. Because we are not emotional type. We are business type. So God knowing our weakness that we are not emotional he commands the man to love and the women too he commands the women to submit because women are proud in nature women don't know how to submit it's not in a woman to feel inferior every woman wants to be on top that is why when you marry your wife one of the common statements is I am your wife <laughs> She will always remind you that I'm your wife. I'm above that. I'm above this person. You can't treat me this way. I cannot do this. I cannot be this. She, if you forget, she'll remind you three times a day. The reason why God commanded you to submit because he knows you. That he planted something in you. Because the moment he brought you, he didn't bring you to be helped. He brought you as a helper. Every helper has something more than the one he's coming to help. So deep within, a woman feels that he knows better than a man. So if a man and a woman miss, a woman wants her ideas to be implemented. A woman wants her wish to be done. A woman thinks that the way her picture, the way she sees life is how the family should be built. So God knowing such weakness in women, he commands submit. So God didn't tell you submit because you are humble. He told you submit because he knows you are proud. Manuwe, Mahaka. Have you realized as it stands now, what is pushing in this world? Feminism. 
equalism that that you, you see the way they are heralding it because that's who they truly are so if you find a woman who is submitting you have found somebody who fears god because it's not in their nature it's not in their nature any woman that submits to you as a man really is a fearer of god a lover of god i'm telling you she is actually living contrary to who she is and it hurts them every day a woman wants to be in charge a woman wants to be in control but god has changed it by word not by nature i wish that god changed it by nature but he didn't he only changed it by word to test your obedience to him so if a man genuinely loves a woman to a man eh, when he says goodbye to you in the morning he's expecting to talk to you later in the evening and the man this man really loves me he calls me 10 times a day he loves me no <laughs> no <laughs> when you marry you will see <laughs> <laughs> you will see it's not like that it's not like that such a man when you marry and still calls you 10 times it means that he has located something in bible he fears god he just want to love you for not <laughs> he just he, and it's intentional such a man will practice it intentionally it won't come by nature he decides to love you and if a woman to submit to you is intentional it's not deliverance she can decide to submit to you because listen if you give her one insult she has 20 more reserved if she decides not to talk back i tell you it's not her nature it's intentional <laughs> every word you speak against a woman she has running over <laughs> press down <laughs> shake it together running over <laughs> to give to you i tell you if you talk against your wife anyhow you insult your wife anyhow you humiliate your wife anyhow and she quietly walk away i tell you are seeing somebody who is after god's heart on oh, jimmy a woman does not need to go to university to be proud a woman does not need to go to university to fight for superiority. Obey to me ni wako. I want to die. Apostle Solomon Kai. I say it's better to live at the root of. Than to stay in the room. In the same house with a nagging woman. A woman can deal with you. There are presidents who fear nothing but their wives. If you really want to be happy in life. I'm not saying make your wife happy. No let her feel you want her to be happy a real one warfare baby have you eaten oh no after this oh you should have called me my break time is over i would have gotten you a lunch i would have ordered my oh god oh god please um next time just let me know quickly please find something to eat and then hey look at it now this is my guy this is my guy <laughs> This my guy. <laughs> Just let her let her feel you want her to be happy. If a woman declares war against you, you are finished. Even if you divorce, she will still come after you. No matter how strong you are, your woman is stronger than you. Accept it. Listen, whether you like it or not, your woman is your strength. I want to tell you, young men, women are powerful. Don't joke with it. It was by a woman Adam fell. Sure. Satan visited the woman and the woman worked out Adam's destruction. When God came, he also went through the woman. The seed of the woman will bring the solution. One day you understand. All your problems, young man, all the problems at home, some of them will come through the woman. All the blessings too. Ojiga problem aba. So every morning you have to make a choice. It is marriage that God used to train us all. If God wants to train you, He gives you a woman. <laughs> he would dash you one nice woman. Who did you do fear? You understand scriptures. 
scriptures will come alive when God talks about patience this is how we lose life <laughs> women are wonderful tools in the hands of God but she is confident about what she is doing ladies were specially made in a way that have you seen ladies can stay together thank God for men that men can live with you if you put ladies together that is why they know they are not good that is why they start to appreciate men because what you do to men that men will just your fellow lady will show you can't do to me me, me I'm a better version